Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is uh, George Kivinji. I'm a scientist uh, based at the Kemri Wellcome Trust Research Program in Kenya. And I'm going to talk to you, uh, take you through um, uh, our efforts in building capacity for public health bioinformatics in East Africa. So uh, uh, talking of uh, East Africa, it's what you might um, uh, categorize as an under-resourced uh, setting. And uh, it comes with a raft of issues that includes research infrastructure, uh, issues with funding, training, ethics, laboratory work, communities, and data sharing. Uh, pretty much this you're gonna find across our regions uh, with uh, uh, all that you might categorize as under-resourced. Uh, so to do that, uh, we got a grant um, uh, done to the National uh, Institutes for Health uh, that's fund our GenV program that aims to build capacity in outbreak surveillance, real-time portable sequencing. And the aim here is to inform public health decision-making and policy and to link and engage with public health departments and the agencies. We are based in four centers across East Africa, here at the Kemri Wellcome Trust Research Program at KCRI in Tanzania, UVRI in Uganda, and Makara University in Uganda. And we aim to partner with governments and also with regional bodies, uh, for example, Africa CDC. So our aim is to uh, build genomics informed by regional priorities, and uh, that means talking to the relevant ministries of health in the relevant agencies in the relevant countries and supporting wet lab sequencing, predictive modeling, and bioinformatics. So uh, for sequencing work, uh, we largely uh, rely on portable sequencing and building capacity in portable sequencing uh, for respiratory viruses, for example, influenza, RSV, measles, and now SARS-CoV-2. Uh, uh, enteroviruses, acute parasitic viruses, for example, and arboviruses, uh, which we have successfully uh, uh, sequenced uh, within the program. Again, building bioinformatics protocols, bioinformatics pipelines, and data processing uh, workflows, and actually supporting hardware uh, requirements uh, for uh, select um, uh, uh, programs. So our nanopore journey, I'm quite excited. Uh, we rest on a platform that we've been building over actually the last four or five years. And I'm quite excited by this. You can see first our very initial uh, our 2016 Nanopo run when the technology was quite young. And now uh, we are sequencing uh, SARS-CoV-2 uh, relatively uh, easily, uh, so to speak. So again, uh, our work is um, uh, on building, um, uh, we are aiming to build metagenomic assays uh, for respiratory viruses uh, because the respiratory uh, ecology is quite complex and diverse and we are very keen to see whether we can build assays where we can sequence the entire repertoires of whatever is within the, uh, the nasal uh, pharynges. Again, uh, building our new sequencing methods that are taking advantage of child amplicon sequencing approach. Um, we are quite excited uh, uh, being able to sequence a measles virus uh, and measles virus uh, genomes uh, from the region. Uh, and again, building uh, uh, the entire uh, uh, capacity uh, from the lab work to actually uh, the bioinformatics and all using uh, uh, portable sequencing. And now it's uh, COVID time. Again, uh, we have deployed our knowledge, our expertise, uh, our experience uh, developing these capacities for other respiratory viruses uh, to now uh, sequence uh, 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 SARS-CoV-2. So we actually sequenced SARS-CoV-2 as early as April uh, uh, of uh, this year. That was just a couple of weeks after the first index case uh, was diagnosed. And now we have over 120 genomes that we've sequenced so far and will be available in the public domain. So again, on building capacity, uh, we've built capacity locally, but we were very keen early on to build capacity in other laboratories in Kenya. Uh, we've supported the CVR, Kemri CVR Center for Virus Research and the National Public Health Laboratories and also partnered uh, with Africa CDC Oxford Nanopause run training, virtual training across Africa, supporting about seven other African uh, countries. So uh, uh, from the coast region, uh, we've been able to sequence majority of all the genomes uh, from all the cases that we found and we continue uh, supporting that. Uh, we quickly could see that at the very early SARS-CoV-2 genomes were early introductions from uh, people who had traveled, but now the epidemic is taking a different trajectory, which is all local transmission. We're trying to build uh, and see how genomics can inform our public health uh, agencies and, and bodies to better control the virus. Uh, for our work, I'm very grateful uh, by support from a number of agencies and uh, from uh, individuals who uh, uh, acted as mentors 
but also supported uh, all the work that we've done. Much great uh, um, uh, um, support uh, from the TIBA network, uh, uh, from the Arctic network, and from um, um, uh, uh, Nanopore Technologies and Africa CDC. Uh, thank you very much.